If a customer is coming into your business with the wrong expectation, it doesn't matter how good you are, how good your service or product is, you're setting yourself up for failure. Our guest today on Callum Connect's micro podcast is Eric Gerber. Eric is the co-founder and COO of Podcast Connection, a marketing and PR agency focused on podcast interviews. A hurdle that I've faced as an entrepreneur is one I still face today, actually, and that's managing our client's expectation because it's the one big difference between a satisfied customer and an unsatisfied customer. If a customer is coming into your business with the wrong expectation, it doesn't matter how good you are, how good your service or product is, you're setting yourself up for failure. Grant Cardone says it and and many other successful entrepreneurs say the same thing. It's much easier to keep selling to an existing customer than trying to acquire a new one. And we knew that, so we knew that something had to change because we came to a point where our retention rate was dropping. And in hindsight, our problem was that we were putting emphasis on the benefits of podcast guesting rather than what we were doing as a company. We were putting emphasis on the things that could come as a result of our service rather than the things that are directly in our control. And I think a lot of businesses are guilty of this, especially in the beginning, you know, you want to make your your product or service seem larger than life. So you focus on all these potential benefits. And to give you a good example, I, the other day I saw an ad for this graphic design company and they were saying, they were advertising themselves saying, we can help you grow your business with a professionally designed logo and images for your website. And I just thought to myself, well, these guys can't actually guarantee that. I mean, sure, having a professional brand image is important and will definitely help you but I'm not going to grow my business as a direct result a logo that I made for you and I know this because I have a little bit of a design a background in graphic design myself you know that's not going to be the direct vehicle for my business growth so when I thought about how this company is is marketing I realized that my company is doing the exact same thing we're telling people that they'll get you know, leads for their business, backlinks for SEO, networking opportunities with people in their industry, return on investment, etc. And while these are all very true, very real, very likely benefits of being a podcast guest, that was our problem. Our problem was that we, would, we were selling our service by saying things that are likely but not guaranteed. And even though we, you know, we never made any promises and we did say it's only a possibility that they're going to reap all these benefits but that didn't matter because that was still the expectation that we created because that was where all of our emphasis was placed during the the sales process so what we've started doing instead is just be honest with people you know saying saying that um, anyone can book themselves as a guest on podcasts because anyone can and anyone can reap the the rewards and the same benefits so that's not where our value lies our value as a company lies not in the leads, not in the ROI, all those things mentioned. It's that we remove the legwork in getting podcasts with, you know, because our team works hard every day to procure those opportunities. We we have support and advice and helpful resources that we we offer people to maximize their chances of, of reaping those benefits. And once we started making that more clear, people appreciated that level of honesty. So our customers Number one, they were happier with our service. Um, Number two, their expectations were managed correctly. And number three, we started attracting more of the right clients. Um, You know, the kind of clients that we were actually happy to work with. So my big takeaway from this is number one, be honest. Number two, under promise and over deliver. And like I said in the beginning, we still struggling with this. We haven't mastered this, but I hope some of you listening today can relate and that you found some of it useful. If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc.